these guys are running a company where they have a, they have a they have a team uh, in which you can outsource anything you need to their team, and their team will handle it. And these guys are working remotely. Um, so from the very start, we built the company with free tools, and if you have the right tools and the right processes in place and the right mentality on how to use these tools, there's really there's really no reason why you need to work in person. Nowadays, there's so many great tools for how to communicate, how to project manage, even how to build team culture. And you guys, you guys don't see each other every day. How, how do you decide, how do you decide as, the, as the co-founders of the company how, how to work together and when to work together? So, yeah, so we don't have an office, obviously, and we both live here in the city, but we, since we have our division of duties, we really don't need to be in a lot of the same meetings together. And since we're already communicating with most of our team on Zoom, when we do like a weekly huddle, we'll have 100 people on a Zoom call, we're going to be on that anyway. So we really don't need to be in the same place for that. Also, we, have, we, we just have different work styles, as everybody does and should. So thinking that you're going to have two people on the same schedule in the same place and that they're going to have their peak performance is really... It but, just doesn't work. So one of the big differentiators um, that that we offer is that we're able to do tasks of any complexity, and we felt that that was what was really missing from the market. So there's a lot of virtual assistant companies out there that can do simple things like booking a flight or a dinner reservation. Um, but to your point, that doesn't sometimes it just takes longer to tell someone that you want a dinner reservation or a flight, and then you have to say that I like to fly Delta uh, and an aisle seat, and here's my number. It's just quicker sometimes to do it yourself. So our bread and butter is really complicated tasks where you're going to get a huge return on that initial investment on the explanation. There is some element of being in person that you do have to do every once in a while. So in two weeks, we're taking 30 people on the team uh, upstate New York on a trip. So we do meet um, you know, on, on occasion. Uh, and that helps the culture as well. Nick and I travel a lot for, for the work we're doing. And everywhere we go, we can either meet a new a client or someone who works on the team, which is really cool. The thing about outsourcing that people least understand that they should know. It should be the last step that you do in trying to be more efficient. You have to start with optimizing a process, automating what you can. And then if there's anything left over, that's when you should outsource.